Welcome back. For the last two years, highly pathogenic avian influenza has riddled poultry flocks across the nation. The egg crisis of 2022 left consumers paying upwards of 10% more for a dozen eggs. With no end in sight on bird flu, Marketplace.org reports 87.5% of eggs produced in a month are consumed. The remaining are added to flocks to maintain population. With millions of birds being culled in various corners of the country, market analysts predict the industry could retain fewer eggs and help the consumer dollar. With so many questions on HPAI, MTN's Ryan Gamboa sat down with some of the state's leading animal scientists to find out more on a potential vaccine for poultry flocks. The egg market could reach a tipping point. We are two years into a, a national outbreak um, with highly pathogenic avian influenza. That's Montana's state veterinarian, Tani Shemansky. I think we maybe have had two dozen deductions, uh, maybe just shy of there, uh, about 175,000 birds that have been impacted here in Montana. What seems like a large number adds to the concern growing outside of the last best place. Animal and Range Sciences Extension Specialist at Montana State University, Thomas Bass. I think that we can be a little less vulnerable compared to, say, the, the Midwest, where there's pretty concentrated uh, egg production and turkey production, uh, meaning a lot of farms on the landscape essentially near each other. Montana primarily being a cow-calf state, concentration of farming operation makes the avian flu slightly less of a concern. But when is enough enough? And when will a vaccine hit the market? But on the uh, large scale domestic poultry, we have not uh, made that decision. I know that now that we have the detection in cattle, um, that conversation I think is very much being revisited. Is, is, is it time for us to, to look and go that route? And that possibility lies in the gray area at the hands of the federal government. I, I believe the vaccine is being very seriously discussed at the highest levels of, of policy around that. The risk of this virus remains very low. Um, it would really only be people that would be working in an environment where the disease had been detected, um, that we would have concerns and really want to make sure that we're taking precautions. Dr. Shemansky wants the public to know poultry products in the supermarket are safe and do not pose a threat to consumers. Reporting in Great Falls, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.